we have a lot to learn from musicians in that area. They've been sort of dealing with those issues for quite longer time than filmmakers have, right? Um, one of my favorite quotes, and I'm sure I'm going to botch this, is um, obscurity is a bigger danger to any kind of artist than pi more, more so than piracy. Um, and so what that means is that, you know, from a personal perspective, and I can't say this is true for every project or every filmmaker, but I definitely think there's a case to be made for saying that um, there's more value in one person stealing your video and sharing it with 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 people than having, you know, a little bit of money from two people seeing it or having nobody ever see it. Um, and I think there are musicians who are embracing that. There are, are musicians and, and filmmakers who are releasing their films and their, their works um, on the web for free. So I think, you know, you have to sort of say to yourself, what do I need out of this project? Is it money? Um, if it's money, what's the best way of getting it? Maybe the web is not the place for that. Or is it audience building? Is it making a career for myself? Um, I, that said, there are ways to protect your work on the web. Um, if there wasn't, then all of these established media brands would not be putting their work on the web. So there are ways to protect your work on the web. You just need to do some homework to figure out what those are. There are also paywalls that you can set up for your work. YouTube rentals is a, a new, you know, uh, sort of common way for a filmmaker to upload a video and have people pay to see it. Um, so there are ways to avoid piracy as well as just giving things away for free. But I think the question you need to ask is, is piracy and people seeing your work for free really all that bad?